Once you've logged into your App Kettle app and selected your device, you'll then be taken to the home screen. From there, you can control the main features of your App Kettle. The first feature we'll take a look at is the power button. This is located in the bottom right hand corner and does three things. First of all, it will bring the kettle on if in standby mode. Pressing the button for a second time will heat the water to the default temperature or the temperature you have selected. Pressing the button during a boil cycle will cancel the boil. The next feature we'll take a look at is setting the temperature the water will heat to. This can be done via the slider on the left hand side. Simply slide it up to increase the temperature or slide it down to decrease the temperature. Once the temperature reaches 60 degrees or more, the keep warm function will become available. This can be activated by pressing the heat lines at the top here. This will tell the kettle to keep the water at the final temperature for 30 minutes. To save time with your app kettle, we've added a favourites tab. This can be found in the bottom left. When selected, this will allow you to pick or create favourite settings for the kettle. A unique feature to the app kettle is the brew round function. When you select this button in the bottom centre, you can send a personalised message via several social media platforms inviting your friends and family for a hot drink. The button at the top left gives you access to the features menu. We'll look at these features individually in later videos. Finally, we have the settings button in the top right. When pressed, this will bring you to the settings menu. In here, you can fine tune the kettle to your preferences. Again, we'll look into that in a later video. In the next video, we'll take a look at using the favourites tab.